Well, earlier this spring, the city of Hamilton declared a state of emergency over homelessness. Last week, the city outlined a plan that includes keeping encampments instead of clearing them out. And they have invited the public to take part in an online consultation on the best way to respond to tackle the problem of homelessness. Well, for more on the city's proposed encampment protocol, we are joined by Michelle Baird, the Director of Housing Services Division for the City of Hamilton. Thank you so much for joining us uh, this afternoon. Uh, this seems uh, like the, this proposal seems like the opposite direction of what we're focusing on here in Toronto, especially from uh, the talk of a lot of the candidates uh, in the mayoral campaign. Uh, talk a little bit about this proposal and why you think this is the best route to go. So for us in Hamilton, this is an issue that we've been struggling with for some time now. It's not new for us, but we are trying to move in a new direction. What we've been doing to date, moving encampments, uh, taking down encampments, that kind of thing, all it's doing is moving people around, disconnecting them from services, and really find, making it more difficult for everybody involved. What we're trying to do right now is put a proposal before a council uh, to offer a couple of things. One, a protocol around when encampments would be moved versus when they would simply stay in place to allow some stability and some dignity to the folks that are there. The other piece being an idea around sanctioned sites, meaning we would have a number of sites within the city to allow for larger groups of tents, perhaps up to 50, and that these sites would be fully serviced, meaning there would be washrooms available, hydro available, running water, that kind of thing, and that service providers know exactly where these sites are. They're able to connect people. Uh, we're trying to really balance the needs both of our community members who are unfortunately living unsheltered while also meeting the needs of our community members that live in the area. So really trying to take a whole of community approach and, and a human rights approach. I'm just curious, is this, how sustainable is this plan? I mean, it doesn't seem like there's the, the urge to get these individuals out of the encampments and into more affordable housing. Uh, tell me a little bit about the, the long-term plan, because I, I can imagine you're probably going to get some pushback from a lot of residents who, who, who quite frankly, don't want to see these encampments. Absolutely. And this is not a solution for homelessness in any way. We're not suggesting it is. The challenge we have right now is we, we have a number of crises in Hamilton. We have a homelessness crisis, as mentioned. We're also facing a crisis with respect to opioids and mental health. And ultimately, uh, the root of a lot of this really is a lack of affordable housing. And so we can't build affordable housing overnight. But in the meantime, we know we have individuals who are, who are not sheltered and need a place where they can live. It's not a situation that's going to resolve itself and it's not something that's going away. So we're trying to take a, take a different approach and really meet the needs of the individuals who find themselves, unfortunately, without a place to spend the night. And we know that there's a lot of driving factors that go into, you know, someone being homeless. We know that the affordability crisis is, is, is right up there. We've got issues of affordable housing. There's a limited emergency shelter space. But when you talked about things like the opioid epidemic, uh, other mental health issues and people who are dealing with crisis, I, I mean, this doesn't seem like this is going to be treating those kind of uh, issues uh, in the short term. And in fact, this is almost kind of creating a, a, a space for individuals who are addicted to drugs, who are using on a regular basis to just basically sit put and, and do what they want. And that's uh, uh, causing a lot of problems. I know from uh, experience reporting here on the issue in Toronto that a lot of homeowners, they just they don't want these encampments uh, near, near their homes because of what's happening in their neighborhoods. The difficulty is that these individuals who find themselves unsheltered, unfortunately, likely have had a number of traumas through their life. We are trying to find ways to make sure that service providers continually connect with these individuals with the ultimate goal of uh, finding them housing. And we really want to see everybody housed. When we continue to disrupt encampments, move people around, what really happens is that the individuals undergo further trauma. And in addition to that, the service providers can lose contact with the individuals. So we're actually um, not doing favors at all and perhaps causing more challenge than we already have in front of us. And uh, just uh, very quickly before I let you go, I know that there's uh, some questions and uh, that you want to answer from the public. Where can people uh, find out where these questions are so they can weigh in? So if they go on the Engage Hamilton website, the questions are there. They can weigh in. There's also some community meetings that will be happening. Again, the same set of questions, really looking for public input. We know this is a time to listen, and we truly are listening. It's definitely a, a very difficult issue to tackle. We appreciate your time, Michelle Baird, the Director of Housing <laughs> Services Division for the City of Hamilton. Thank you.